Recently we've seen the Stalker 2 trailer, which made me curious about the Stalker games. I actually have them in my library on Steam, and I had them there for quite a while. But I believe Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl is where it started it. So why don't we have a look at it? Now this will not be a full playthrough unless it's going to be something you really want to see. And we can stream it every now and then. But this is for all intents and purposes a one-off first look of Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. This one seems to be alive. What a lucky guy. At least death would have saved him from the dreams. Let's go and see what value Sidorovich will put on your head. What have you got? A body. It came from the death truck. It's got the mark. Well, you know the drill. Leave him on this the... This is a live one. Bullshit. You are lying. Let the zone take me if I am. Put it here. I think, for this one, I can give you... So, Marked One, I saved you. And I'm not going to pretend I did it to win favors upstairs. You do some jobs for me, and we're even. Besides, keeping you busy might be a good way to deal with your amnesia. And I'll see what I can find out about your problem. I don't give a shit why you want to find this Strela guy. I mind my own business. If you want to kill him, well, you must have your... What are you standing there for? Come closer. I don't bite. Okay, what do you have for me? The choice is yours. Either I brainwash you like I usually do with all the rookies, or I treat you like a real stalker and I give you a mission straight away. All right. <laughs> treat me like a rookie, I don't remember shit. Yeah, this sure. This is your personal PDA. This useful device will help you survive in the zone. And if you do die, others will know where and how. <laughs> Just kidding. Here, let me remind you how to use it. Your tasks can be found in the first section of the... Most tasks have buttons, which allow you to access additional information on the task. Remember, each new task is automatically shown on your minimap. Moving on. The second section on the PDA is the map. 
Buttons above the map allow you to zoom in and out. Um, oh, you, you can also center the map on yourself, and uh, uh, I'm sure you'll work it out. It's not very complicated. The PDA also has a contact section. The contact section contains a list of stalkers within 50 meters of you. You can see a brief description, rank, group allegiance, and probable attitude towards you here. Remember that while you're neutral, the way other stalkers feel towards you depends on you alone. Note how someone's attitude towards you changes when you help them. Be careful if enemies are around. They're marked red on the visor. Friends are green and neutrals are yellow. Oh, and PDAs of dead stalkers are gray. Helps if you're into looting corpses. What else? Oh yeah, there's a diary too. Well, uh, what is there to say about it? All the information you need is noted in your journal. And news too. Even what I am telling you right now can be found in this section. And then there's a rating section. You can see the top 20 stalkers I know. I refresh this info from time to time to keep up the competitive spirit. <laughs> Maybe you'll be at the top of this list someday. Who knows? Your own achievements are noted in the stats section. It's pretty much self-explanatory. And then we have the encyclopedia. It contains information about the zone and survival advice which you find or are given by other stalkers. That's basically it, I think. Oh, one more thing. Your PDA model has a wide-frequency radio wave scanner with an inbuilt decoder. Its radius of operation is about 400 meters, so you can even enter sub-military comms. Mine has a working radius of 30 kilometers, so I can always get in touch with you. I'll give you the tasks and the latest news. Initially, I'll give you advice, too. So, is everything clear, or should I repeat? No, everything's clear. Thank you very much. So let's have a look how we actually get to the PDA. This is my inventory. Burn plus 10, shock, okay. We have 40 rubles, I guess that's the currency. P is the PDA. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the diary. Personal notes, who am I? Okay, so we have everything here. And then encyclopedia. Okay, there's nothing in there yet. So I'm assuming we're gonna have to do a lot of reading up, um, unless things are very self-explanatory. All right, give me my first mission. You, Mark one. I want you to find a stalker called Nimble. He was carrying some very important information. He disappeared somewhere near the bridge. Find him. Dead or alive, I don't care. I need the flash drive with the info. Visit Wolf from the local camp and ask him. He certainly knows where that guy can be. All right, go on. Uh, that's all for now. Bring me the flash drive and we'll consider the fact that you have partially paid me for saving you. I think the guy who carried me in kind of saved me, really. Get information from the scout. Okay, we'll do. My PDA is blinking. Does that oh, yes, I have new entries here. So we have to talk to Wolf. Kill the bandits, get the flash drive, and then take the flash drive back to the trader. So we don't have locations on these yet, I guess. Okay. Oh, I have binoculars. Oh, wow. That's pretty amazing. The jumps will help you climb on top of medium barriers to jump press space. Okay. That's pretty sweet. Crouch, press control. To crouch even lower, press control plus X. Yeah, okay. Sometimes you will need to run faster than usual to do this. Press shift while running. The sprinting character runs faster and jumps further, but tires more quickly. Okay, you wolf. Why are you here? I need to see Nimble. Would you know where I could find him? Nimble got a raw deal. His group was attacked by some bandits a little ways from here. All he could do was send me an SAS message. It looked like his pals went under. My guys told me these bastards are now at the old car park, the one across the road. 
You don't rescue your own people from prison? Not what I would call friendly, or is that you're just too weak? Is that what he's saying? I'd pop you one, but what's the use? It's not that simple. I got too few people, and even those I got are mostly rookies. I can't take that risk. If we lose this camp, things will get even worse for all the stalkers out there. And what about yourself? If you aren't too scared, you won't let my pride make me say no to the helping hand. So will you help me deal with these uh, thugs? I was going to say yes, but okay. Nah, you stand no chance on your own. My scouts are good soldiers. And right now, they're right behind those freaks. Together, you can make a run for it. What do you think? You got the guts? Okay, I got the guts. But I won't go. I'll try. Guys, I'm sending someone your way, so wing it. You may attack if necessary. Over. Alright, we'll send him in. As long as he stays out of the way. Out. Okay, so let's see where we have to go. Meet with Wolf's people. Okay, we're going all the way out there. So, okay, we have to go north, east. Do we stay on the path or can we cut across? Is there like dangerous radiated land or something? Oh, Schweppes. Is that a dog? Okay, let's stick to the road, I guess. There's somebody there. What is this? What is this weird stuff? Are you okay? The pain is too much, I'm dying. You're alive? I'm okay, bleeding all over though. Give me a medkit, will you? Sorry man, I ain't got a medkit. Okay, let's see. Let's search nearby and see if we can find him. Oh, there's one. Um, search body. Uh, take all. Yeah, he got actually nothing. Uh, drug body. Oh, look at that! Get drug body! Yeah, but hang on a second. Take the med kit off the stiff. I can't crawl that far. Here you are. Thank you, Mark. Okay, so I didn't realize we already took it. I'll be sure to tell everyone at the camp that you helped me out. Yeah, no problem. By helping our class to improve their attitude towards you as well as your general reputation, better attitude and higher reputation help you when interacting with people you meet. They will be prone to give you additional information and sell you their items cheaper. Okay, so basically, be good. What is this? Oh. Okay. What are these bubbles? That looks weird. Oh. Get oh shit, that hurts me! When the character is hit, you may start to bleed. Bleeding causes the character to constantly lose health. So the more serious the bleeding, a green icon means slightly bleeding, a red icon serious hemorrhage. Oh yeah, great, great, we're dying. I think we're, that's it, we're dead. Oh my balls. Okay, so, note to self, stay away from anything that looks weird. Okay, so we're already nearly dead. Do we have any healing? I don't think so. <laughs> oh well. Oh man, is this dog chewing on a corpse? Wow. Okay, let's head over here. Oh, the number on the radar seems to be the number of people that are here? Am I healing over time a little bit? That would be great. Okay, what's up? Wolf has already sent word of you. You got any questions? Yes, how many bandits in the camp? 708. Two by the gate, two more in the public, uh, in the building to the right near the fire, and another one on the left. That's where they're keeping nimble. Someone usually hangs around the yard as well. That's about it. Shall we say a prayer and go? Uh, let's go. Men, Wolf here sent us some support along with the order to attack. Time to move on and be heroes. All right, let's go. I like your little shotguns. Could fancy myself one. Let's actually really quickly check the... Oh, they don't pause when you actually open the PDA. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, okay, we're just going straight into the firefight. Oh, 
How accurate is hip fire? Yeah, maybe we should aim. Okay, let's take some cover here behind the rock. Okay, we, we're nearly dead. See if we can get a little bit of cover and doing a little peek. Okay, there's somebody right here. I think I got him. Yeah, got him. This is this is so different. Um, search body. Okay, take all. Yeah, we actually got him. I'm very out of breath. So I can't run or anything. Uh, take all. Oh, is that a bandage? Oh, that would be great. Oh, crap, crap. Oh, nice. Oh, that was so close. I have no health left. Can we heal up? Can we use the bandage? Use. Is that not a bandage? Bandage. Helps to. Oh, it only helps stop bleeding. It doesn't heal. Oh, wow. We're so dead. Oh, there's a big guy in there somewhere. I'm probably out of breath because I'm like near death. Oh, what is that? Get the flash drive from Nimble. So I'm gonna stay here behind the door for a second and see if we can heal up with anything. Oh, yes, I got a little bit of health from eating. And what is this? Cossack's vodka. Vodka made by Jizzy down easily and significantly reduce the effects of radiation. Uh, okay, so that doesn't actually heal at all. But we got a little bit of health back. So let's actually go through here. Again, I can't walk any faster. Okay, there's no loot here. I thought we could loot this. Can we break the boxes for loot? No, no loot. What about these boxes? Can we destroy them? No. Okay. Yeah, sorry about the heavy breathing. Oh, what is this? There's something to loot. No, it's probably something you can shoot and then it explodes or something. You guys still alive? What the heck is going on? Okay, Nimble is in here, so we have to take care of him. Man, what a day. Oh, eat. Can I eat? Oh, no, I have to take it all first, don't I? Oh, thank you. Hello? Okay. You guys still alive? What the oh, heck is brilliant. Going on? Brilliant. Let me just really quickly search here before I talk to you. Oh, nice. Excellent. I was wondering if there's loot in crates. So, I'm playing this on Master, not because I think I'm awesome, it's because I was looking up what difficulty would be kind of the recommended to get like a good experience that it's not too difficult, and apparently hey, Master anybody is alive? easier in I a lot of ways brother. than the lower difficulties. Never thank you enough. No problem.
Some of the stalkers won't talk if you stick your weapon in their face. Okay, so always make sure you have your, your weapon holstered. Thanks, Prosy. You did a great service. Don't even know how to thank you. Listen, I need the flash drive you were taking to the trader. Do you have it? Yeah, I got it. Those morons can't even do a proper search. Well, what the heck, take it. After all, you saved my life. It was well hidden, but these thugs can't frisk for shit. Captive stalkers, flash drive, get information from the scout. Thanks. Where did you keep it anyway? Who knows? Might come in handy. I didn't keep it down there, so don't worry. I I've worked for Trader for a long time, so I can store information safely. By the way, I told the thugs a nice little story about a cache full of artifacts, and they ordered one guy to go there. The cache exists, but it's only got one artifact. I can give you its coordinates if you want. Oh, okay, cool. But don't forget, there's a lot of wild animals there. Besides the gangster, they, se they sent is armed with more than a scoop and a shovel, so be careful. Oh, maybe it's something we don't want to do right now, then. Um, sure, no problem. Good luck. I need a job. Do you have something for me? Can you tell me something interesting? Oh, what does that mean? Yeah, it's kind of sad after all. Just the other day, Otter died. Absolutely for nothing. Just can't believe it. And you haven't ever heard about Otter, have you? Well, he was practically a professor here from the very first year. He knew the zone like the back of his hand. And then like that, out of the blue, there's some real experienced stalkers out there, but the zone still takes them. There are others who end up going back to the big land. Is there anything else? No, he doesn't know anything else. Um, I need a job. Do you have one? Oh, there's something. Find the perfect suit. Okay. Sure. While I was incapacitated, I heard the bandits taking, uh, I were talking about their secret stash where they keep the, uh, the harbor. Heard that they hit a cool code there and the next day some monster got his eye on the stash and he became so interested in it that now they're afraid to go there. Do me a favor, bring me the suit and I'll pay you well for it. I'm up for it. Okay. Do you have anything else? Okay. I'm here for the job. Which assignment do you want to talk about? Find the perfect suit. And what about the assignment? I refuse to do the job. It's alright some other time. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. Okay, so let's go. This is, this is really cool. I'm just gonna check this place for more loot. Oh, I hope there's no more bandits around here now. I'm really... Oh, look at that. Is that all... Oh, that's all empty bottles. Okay, so we can't actually take them. And there's a stalker can, which we can't take. Oh, what is there? There's something in there. Oh, that's a can. Cigarettes. Oh, we actually can access these boxes? Oh, I didn't know that because oh, there, there was a there's a prompt here, but the other one didn't have a prompt. So I just want to make sure I didn't miss that. Yeah, no, no prompt. This one we couldn't open. Okay, so not all of them can be opened. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, that's one of ours. Sure, let's take it. And what weapon did he have? Oh, the shotgun. All right, at least we have a shotgun now. And there's one more dude in here. Oh, yes, take it. And where's your gun? There we go. Oh, these guys are all dead, are they? Oh, Schweppes. Oh, he's asleep. Okay. So the gray dots is all bodies. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. All the other bodies I looked at. Just making sure there's no more boxy in this area, maybe. Oh, there's one here. Yeah, nothing here. And there's one more body here. Beautiful, more ammunition. Oh, that is awesome. Take the flash drive to the trader, but we have to go back to the trader. But let's actually see how far away is everything. So on the big map here, this is where the abandoned mill is in the stash. I think we should just go back to the trader first, maybe, because I'm not sure if I have the... Well, we have a couple of bullets, so we theoretically could try. Well, we could try it. Let's try it. Why not? Crazy. I'm healing up a little bit. I just saved, so yeah, sure, let's go. Oh, 
I mean, it's right here. It's not that far away. I see somebody there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we mark them? Oh, I hear dogs. Okay. Let's be careful about this. Oh, there's somebody here. There's nothing in here. I hear some growling. Can I equip the shotgun? Oh, I have it. Yeah, we only have two ammunition though. All non-lootables. Can I take that? Did I take it? Oh, I did. Put on the suit. Traditional outfit for a bandit is 3,000. Wow. So, do you get any higher stats? Oh, I did. I got the... Oh, I got an extra five bulletproof and an extra five rupture. Very nice. Can we go up the stairs? Oh, there's a dog. Where's the anomaly? I'm probably above it. Okay. Can we get up here? Okay, there's something in the back there. Let's just be careful because I'm pretty sure there's people actually down there. Oh, I can't pick that up. Oh, awesome. Oh, I was able to break that with my um, knife then probably. So if we look at all our tasks, yeah, it says here, find the perfect suit. Oh, that's actually all the way back here. Okay. Um, how far away is this? Let me see. Ooh. Okay, it's actually quite far. Yeah, let's go back to the trader. I think this was interesting enough, but I don't think I want to go any further away from the trader right now until I get a little bit more maybe experience and ammunition and weapons. What the hell is that? What the balls? Oh my god, it actually hunts dogs. Okay, I'm out of here. Can we loot vans? Can we open them? No. There's nothing to loot on them. Oh, what is here? Underneath the bridge. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Can we destroy that? Yeah, thank you. Can we take that apart somehow? No. I want to see what the dogs were interested in. Okay, let's go. I think there was enough ammunition wasted on two dogs that didn't die. Yeah, these guys just didn't die. <laughs> oh, genie, Mac, what is that? It's like that guy has like super speed or something. It just went foof and that's it. 
Okay, let's get back to the trader first and hand in the flash drive. Did you manage? Yeah. Here's the flash drive. Oh, we got 1,500 rubles. Nice. Got any special mission for me? I need a job. Do you have anything? Um, do you have something for me? So what's the difference? Oh, wow. He has actually multiple things. Bring over the tail of a dog. Kill the sales representative. Perch the area from mutants. Find the jellyfish artifact. Okay. Um, do you have a mission? Listen, Markva. I've done some thinking. Here's what I'd like to offer. Generally speaking, what you really need is to find Strelok, right? Yeah. Anyway, here's the thing about Strelok. There's a stalker that goes by this name. And they say he's found a path to the northern reaches of the zone. And that is a virgin area, a real gold mine for artifacts. Yeah. Anyway, I can help you find him. However, as you can imagine, it won't be a free ride. You'll have to work it off. But in the long run, we'll both benefit. You're going to waste that Strelik fella and find out what happened to you, and I'll find... Uh, well, I mean... I'll get my share of our mutual profit. All right, makes sense. So what do you say? Deal? Yeah, go on. All right, listen. You mean business, I can see that. And I... I mean... We need guys like you. We're doing sort of an investigation with some other traders. We want to open up a path to the north, to the center of the zone. And near the center, something or someone is trying to hamper our progress. How the heck this Strelok managed to sneak through, I don't know. You see, there's this one area where your brain starts boiling. An eerie place. Anyway, to cut a long story short, a couple of guys have been spying on those grunts for me, not far from here. Apparently the ones at the Agroprom Research Institute have dug up something, something major. I'm positive it has something to do with the center of the zone. Anyway, whatever they've dug up, it's secured somewhere in the third floor of the Institute. We really need this stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think so. Once you have the briefcase, don't bring it here. Take it straight to the barman. He runs the stalker bar at 100 rads. I'll upload the coordinates and all the data you need to your PDA. Clear? Okay, I got You'll it. You'll need to go north through the garbage, then turn west. You'll end up at the Agroprom Research Institute after a few kilometers. And be careful. The radiation level is way too high at the garbage. So I suggest you invest in some anti-rad. Or some vodka. Well, good luck. Well, I have a lot of vodka. I need answers to a few questions. Okay, that would be good, I guess. Ask away, but I don't know everything. Tell me about the zone in general. Do you know what happened to me? That's some shady business. They found you in a death truck. That's a kind of a corpse carrier, right? These trucks come in from the center of the zone once in a while loaded with bodies. No one really knows where they're heading. So one of them crashed into something and you were found nearby. This is the most amazing thing of all. We found broken down corpse carrier before, but no one ever came out of them alive. Sorry, bro. That's all I can help you with. The rest you have to figure out for yourself. Who is Strelok? Uh, I've heard of a stalker by the name. Rumors is the one of the few who went to the center of the zone and made it back. Still, we got so many of these legendary stories about stalker heroes that I can't really guarantee anything. At any rate, I never dealt with him personally. It seems he has his own trading channels. Anyhow, just ask the folks here in the zone and you'll be sure to learn a lot more. Tell me about the zone. You see, it's not just a circle a few kilometers in diameter with a nuclear power plant in the center. It's something bizarre, really bizarre. I doubt anyone in the world would give you a straight answer. I feel the zone isn't even part of this world. It's a different detached world, weird and dangerous and attractive too. And you know why? Because with a little luck, anyone can get rich. Quick. And the closer you come to the center of the zone, the higher you will climb on the money ladder. What's so dangerous about this different world? Not a whole lot, except you can croak any second and not know what hit you. A dumb soldier's bullet is the least of your problems, although you have pulled in a lot of military here. Get in, shot is basically the most painless kind of death in the zone. Anomalies now, that's something for you. To die in an anomaly is a terrible thing indeed. Even mutants try to keep away from them. By the way, mutants, these children of the zone, are another kind of trouble, so don't go anywhere unarmed in any way. To learn about the other dangers, just ask the other stalkers. What's the army do in the zone? They guard and protect, what else? 
no one really knows whether they're guarding the zone or protecting the rest of the world from it. Sometimes they send whole expeditions here to look for something. But I'll tell you something else. They don't respect the zone, and the zone doesn't like them either. That's why they return home in body bags very often. What else is there? Well, they look down at everyone and act like gods or something. They have no respect for stalker rules and won't ever help you even if you're dying right in front of them. They gladly shoot you themsel themselves though and they don't get reprimanded for that. I've got a few con contacts among them. You know, people always need vodka and magazines, right? Don't annoy them. They'll whack you for nothing. What's going on in this neighborhood? This is the entrance to the zone. A sort of an antechamber. We've got an army cordon here. It's relatively quiet with the exception of a couple of army guys who like to have some fun. Go on, shakedown runs. Experienced stalkers don't come here very often, so it's mostly rookies. Some settle here for good. A little ways from here, there's a farm made into a rookie camp. Watch yourself, though. They aren't afraid to pull the trigger when push comes to shove. What else? You won't make huge profit here, that's for sure. There's a deserted factory across the road to the north behind the railroad embankment. There are the ruins of the farm. An army outpost lies to the south of here and beware the military left some mines in the ground. Also, there used to be a bridge in the center, but it went down somehow. That's about it, really. The few soldiers here have been ordered to shoot on sight, so you better walk around it and try not to show your ass. If you piss them off, they may call for the spetsnaz from the further cordon. Those guys can brew up such shit that I won't have any customers for a month. I know the commander a little. He likes to take a swig as much as the next man. I'm surviving on here, uh, on here thanks to him. So basically, because everybody likes to drink, you know everybody. That's, uh, that's amazing. I love it. Okay, I want to know more about the Fallen Bridge. That's just a couple of minutes north of here. You'll see it right away. There used to be a bridge over the road, but then it collapsed during one of the blowouts. The army guys built a checkpoint there and don't let anyone through. But if you grease the right palm, you pass with no problems. In general, you don't want to show your face there too much, unless you're badly wounded or got heavy load on, a heavy load on you. Okay, what's the story about the factory? Across the road, you'll see a brick building. That's it. Everything worth stealing has already been stolen. Just this one box is left. This is the bandit's favorite place. I don't know if they are there now, but just watch out in case. You got nothing valuable on you. If you got nothing valuable on you to take, but do really want to go there through all that, tell me about the farm. You're getting boring, you know that? It's just a farm like any other. The place used to thrive before democracy broke out. I just want to know everything about everything. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you. And the other jobs, I'm not really sure if I want to take any of them yet. Because they sound pretty hardcore, like a dog's tail. Wow. Okay, that beast we saw seems to be a boar. A massive mutated animal reaching 1.5 meters at the shoulder. The zone boar aggressiveness and ability to survive surpassed by far those of its relatives outside the containment area. Radiation and anomalies left their mark on the physical appearance of the animal as well. Its fur is entirely gone in some places and long and, br and bristly in others. The hooves have evolved into sturdy sharp claws. The pupils became colorless and the boar's bald head is mar marred by pigmentation, disorder and deep wrinkles. Zone boars are quite resistant to radiation and can stay in heavily contaminated areas for longer periods of time. They usually charge at their victims, trying to knock them over and then rip them to shreds. That's what we probably saw earlier when we saw that big puff of smoke behind them. And then we have anomalies. Oh, okay, so we have the springboard anomalies, which I probably have seen already. That's the one I, I lost all my health on. One of the first anomalies ever recorded, an unstable gravitational field inflicting shock damage to anyone within its radius remains active for a week on average. The amount of damage inflicted changes during its lifetime, ranging from minor bruises through serious wounds to instant death. Easy to spot in daylight, accompanied by air fluctuation above the anomaly, dances leaves and distinct crimson colored stains on the ground picked up by all types of detectors. The springboard can also be revealed by throwing objects into it. Forms three types of artifacts, jelly, stone, and night. So hang on, he was asking for a jellyfish artifact. I wonder if we can get the artifact first, like if we happen to find it and then take the quest. And Anomaly formation roughly 10 meters in diameter, accumulating large quantities of static electricity. When triggered, the anomaly bursts out in dozens of miniature lightings, causing electric shock nearly always lethal to all living beings, recognizable by the bluish fog hovering above it in daylight. At night time, the electro can be revealed use, using any type of detector or by throwing metal objects into the anomaly. 
forms three types of artifacts, sparkler, flash, and moonlight. Okay, so the anomalies form artifacts, which we can harvest hopefully somehow without actually getting ourselves killed. Is that it? Oh, there's something where we can go underground. Let's see what we have here. Can we destroy that? No. Oh, maybe. It seems to get scratches, but yeah, it doesn't seem to take any damage. Okay, nice. Bread. Lovely. Gives us a little bit of heal when we need it. Oh, nice. What is that? What do we have here? Some card food, is it? Tourist delight canned food from any army warehouse, raided by stalkers. The best before period hasn't expired yet. We have actually so many uh, guns. A PMM, PM Oh, they have different weights? Oh, it's the condition. Interesting. Ah, here we go. This dude, uh, Sidorovich, he actually would trade some weapons. Reduces the effects of radiation. Okay, how much do you want for those? 600. Okay, so how about I give you all these guns and I give you my old suit. Yeah, I think this is good enough for the moment. Do you have any shotgun ammunition? No, you don't. How much for the health kit? 300. Okay. Okay, so I hope we're gonna get some money, otherwise we lose out. Not bad. Yeah, we got some, some money. Good. good stuff you've got there. I'm actually gonna leave this here. Um, this is gonna be a first look, but if you guys wanna see a little more of this game, even if it's not the full game, let me know and we're gonna stream it one evening so we can get like three, four hours in and you guys can also help me out and give me some tips or whatever and, you know, guide me a little bit if you want. That's absolutely fine. And um, otherwise, I'm gonna stick to the main missions, but if we definitely should be doing side missions to, or if we should focus on getting, for example, the suit first, then yeah, sure, absolutely, we can do that. But um, we'll see. Anyway, I would, wouldn't mind playing more of this. It's definitely very interesting. I can't believe that it's actually that enjoyable for being so old, but yeah, I'm looking forward to more if you guys want to see more. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls, and I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And see you guys next time. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming.